Conversations across time. Conversations across cross time. Conversations across time. Conversations across time. Conversations across time. Conversations across cross time. Conversations across time. Conversations across cross time. Conversations across time. Conversations across cross time. Conversations across time. Good evening and welcome to Conversations Across Time. This is the third in a series of episodes dealing with the role of women in Trump's America. There's so many things that are going on and it is important for us to have this conversation. You will note that I am very hoarse, but I realized when I woke this morning that there was no way that I could possibly not show up for this important topic. We have important topics all the time, but right now, this is unbelievable. So I, I'm joined tonight by Mark Hoffman, Conversation to Across Time, historian. He is here as himself, not in character. Seated next to him is my friend and legal counsel to this show, Irv Matnick. Irv Matnick is here, not as FDR, not as any of the many characters he's played. He's here himself, as himself. You will understand why. Seated next to Irv is John Mason. John Mason is always playing bad guys on this show. But this is such an important topic. John Mason insisted that he be John Mason tonight. Thank you, John. My pleasure, Vivi. I mean, what else can, can you be in this uh, situation? We're in, we're in crisis. Seated to my left, she's always to my left, is my co-host, Bad Bad Josephs. Bad, bad. And I'm always me, which is you're not, easier. Yes, you're always you. You don't have to play character. But there are so many things that are going on right now. We are faced with a crisis. And in you this. are. You are. Yeah. I am Vivian Crawford. I am hoarse, but please forgive me. But we are faced with a crisis in this country. We are met with some devastating things that are going on in the courts right now. Um, in Congress right now, I have the star report. I've had it for the past two episodes because I want to mention to you that Brett Kavanaugh was very instrumental in the most salacious and invasive questions of Bill Clinton that he now thinks he doesn't have to answer. The kinds of questions that he asked, that he composed to have asked of Bill Clinton. The star report, I have the book, but it is available online. I beg you. Read it. You will understand what we're looking at with Brett Kavanaugh trying to be confirmed to the Supreme Court. And perhaps by the time you see this, it will have been a fait accompli. I'll give you one quote yes, of please. Brett Kavanaugh when he yes. was on the Star Commission. This is what he said to uh, Star. He said, it's our job to make his pattern of revolting behavior, referring to Bill Clinton, yes. clear to the public. So he wanted to expose yes. every aspect that Bill Clinton was involved with, and yet he didn't want an FBI investigation or anything into his behavior. Or Trump's. Or yeah. Trump, yes. That's a, yeah, uh, Kevin has a hell of a funny one to talk about uh, Clinton's salacious behavior. When we, talk, when we hear the news in, in, the, in the paper about- uh, New York Times. Uh, yeah, the New, like in today's New York Times, along with uh, the, uh, this well, article about Trump's- uh, tax dealings. There's an article about uh, related to Kavanaugh's uh, drinking and drinking and partying and doing stuff with girls. Uh, why is it in the high school, not even at the legal drinking age, they're still partying hardy over the cakes and and talk about women like uh, sex toys. Like, I mean, he's a like I said, a hell of a fine. A lecture is about, he gets indignant about uh, tr uh, Clinton's uh, yeah, this, inclinations. Just John, to be accurate, this is October 3rd's but New here's York the, Times. Here's, here's the problem. No, and, it's not. And the same it's way two weeks ago. the ultra-right conservatives have come out and dismissed, you know, Kavanaugh's behavior as boys will be boys yes. and everything like that. When Clinton was faced with the allegation, not allegation, some of the stuff was proven about his behavior, the liberals did the same thing, and you can't have it both ways. If, you, okay. if you're a feminist and you believe in the rights of, of women, 
you can't have because he's left leaning or he's a feminist himself. If he I abuses agree. a woman, he has to be chastised of course. as much as a right winger yes. who, who abuses a woman. Yes. And that's a mistake I think a lot of liberals made. And, uh, and, and it's the same thing. I, I got upset. I like Al Franken. He, he grabbed the girl and they had to throw him off the, you know, the... the no, did the, he the, grab her? Did he just... Did whatever he just, it was I for mean, the picture, but they made him resign from the, the Senate, and yet the same people are not demanding the withdrawal of Kavanaugh. You can't have it both ways. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, point is... It's, 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 so that's, that really answers the question. I mean, who's right? When you rule, you make the rules. And that's, that's, really what, that's really what this is In all In the about. Pennsylvania legislature, Anywhere. we had a leader, Anywhere. we had a committee chair who... In the Knights of Pythias at the Bresholem Lodge, anywhere you want, whoever... I in. never, I never, if I saw a woman state rep going into his office, I went along with her because otherwise she would be abused. And this was a Democrat in Harrisburg. But because somebody is philosophically align with you like a lot of feminists right. it justified matter. Clinton I agree. what he did not and me. you can't do that and it's the same thing I agree. because I'm not Kavanaugh, arguing okay I'm not arguing right and I'm telling you it when we had right this Democrat in wrong in right. another instance. when right. we had this Democrat in our caucus who did that I did not sit around and say he's a Democrat we right. should support him I said let's get rid of but him I ask a question about that see that this is perhaps one of the problems I've always had was the Bill Clinton and the Star investigation. That was consensual sex. It was consensual. What Brett Kavanaugh did, if you believe the testimony of Dr. Ford, what Brett Kavanaugh did to her, she had no consent. Right. It was an assault. It, it was, was a right. sexual assault. What Bill Clinton engaged in, no matter how we feel about it, was consensual sexual Yeah, but behavior. a lot of times in the workplace... And, oh, of and course, the, he was a superior, I get it. It can be consensual because the person in power uses their power. I agree. Yes. I, 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 I'm not We're disagreeing agreeing. with you, right. but I simply don't want us to paint Bill Clinton with the same brush we are painting. I'm not, I mean, I'm not even talking... You can talk make the same argument with Anita Hill because... Yes. That was not, that was not a forced on sexual circumstance. Right, it was, that's right. It was something that, that was not the right thing to do no, no, I'm not with kept, women, but, I'm it, not, kept, but the, yes, they're I'm, all different. But I'm the, not the equating issue is, Clinton with Kavanaugh. I'm equating uh, the, the response of the, 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 their, 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 exactly. their supporters yes. to what happened. Right, and and what happened you. in all three, the, the, the common denominator is that the powerful men in all three instances prevailed. Got right. off. That's, right. Right. that's the common yeah, denominator. That's what's right. most that's egregious. True. That's what's right. most egregious because when we talk about the role of women and we talk about, well, the Anita Hill, Clarence Thomas hearings were 21 years ago and now here we are and we're still looking at the same thing, but we're talking about sexual assault. It's like the offenses towards women are get more and more severe. Well, of course, the because we're more the Republicans, of a yes. Republicans know That's where their head true. is or they wouldn't have hired the prosecutor to, to question yes. her because they, they, they couldn't even question her. There's more domestic violence but that, that, against by hiring women the prosecutor, because of the women's movement. By hiring the female prosecutor, by the way, yes. just shows that how little regard for women they have. Right. Yes. If yes. women were on equal footing, <laughs> Why wouldn't they be questioned? Well, I'm saying that's what I'm saying. They know, they know what they are. It's not the way it and, is. And, all, and, right. and that's what has to change. All yes. you have to do is listen to, and both sides, the way they, uh, Mitch McConnell said she's an assistant. Yes. Mitch McConnell, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, the Mad Hatcher, I call him. Uh, Orrin Hatch, I call him oh, the Mad Orrin Hatcher. Orrin Hatch. He said, uh, uh, oh, she's an attractive woman. After the testimony, they asked him what he thought about yeah, the testimony. Yeah. He said, she's an attractive woman. She, she made a nice easy. appearance. She made a nice appearance. Not anything to substance. Right. So For that's, legal you know how they're thinking. The that? And they're 85 year old. And don't forget, uh, uh, I call Orrin Hatch the Mad Hatcher, and I call the other guy, Grassley, I call him the. Uh, the oh, I other, have names, the, but the, I wouldn't Mar say I'm a, I'm a So <laughs> anyway, Grassley. <laughs> He, on the TV. They both, they both uh, were in a committee to question Anita Hill, and they both had the, the, the same misogynist attitudes yes. for Anita. Yes, so, yes. So, so, right. of course. Well, well, yeah. right. Of course. <laughs> Listen, we're not quite that old, but we're old enough to understand their there. position. I mean, we were there then. You know how it was. And it's a little different now. 
but yeah, it's, but not I'm not, I, it, it, it's not a lot yeah, different. It's not a lot different. Here's how it's struggle. different. It's regardless of how struggle. I was raised, and regardless of the philosophy, when I taught school, I had to respect the women, uh, uh, my, my female students and my male students equally. They're United States senators. They have to do the same thing. Right. They, have, they have to have that same kind of antenna in their head to do the same well, exact thing. Well, but the, thing. the thing is we have to Listen, defeat a, a couple of them that of don't, the and then the rest men. of them will straighten up. That's the way you get elected. Having been one, I can tell you, uh, from my own personal experience, you get rid of them. And we can do that. Listen. The bunch of people that are this 54% is a shrinking electorate. It's shrinking. That's referring to the 54% of the, of the Republican. Right, the but the Republicans no, 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 are getting I, I smaller and say, smaller. Just for the audience, that's referring to the 54% of Republicans who have decided after hearing Professor Ford testify and I can't say that we heard Kavanaugh testify. I can say that we saw Kavanaugh perform Yes. Kavanaugh acted like a park ape. A park ape in front of the yes, United States did. Senate. And they sat around and took it. I, got I thought ask, he was drunk. I have to ask Irv, Irv a question on, on, of a legal matter because, yes. I mean, you're de you were a defense attorney. And I'm, I, yes. Why would they not question the person who is the accuser? And the person who's accused. How could you just go you by mean the, the FBI? You're referring to the FBI I investigation. I How could they not I, the, the go and question Dr. Ford and Kavanaugh? How could they, they, they not do that? Because the FBI does the, <laughs> Listen, I thought, does I the thought bidding it was of the president. First of all, a woman prosecutor, you have there to understand. The president prosecutes that. sex cases. Exactly. I so thought the same under, thing. Under traditional circumstances, in that case, she, she would probably side with a woman's story exactly. and not be against it because she's looking to prosecute the, the no, defendant I'm, I'm who wasn't here. I'm talking about why the, why, why the FBI is not no, going no, no. and interviewing no, Dr. Ford. Because they're because controlled the by the Republicans and they're controlled no, wait a minute, by the wait a minute. There's president. A, there's a classic thing that happened here. In this instance, there, there was not an order for a full-out FBI investigation. The FBI is mm -hmm. not doing a criminal investigation. What they are doing is background. They're just doing glorified, glossed over everything. They are not, I mean, it made us feel better. Last, when, when, I, when, when Flake said, we need to put a pen in it for a week and have an FBI investigation, I went, oh my God, finally, somebody's gonna save the Republic for us. And then it turned out, that the White House got to dictate the scope of the investigation. Right. Exactly. And so. So you're saying it's just cover for Flake? Yeah, it's exactly. just cover. That's what Flake and by the way, why it Flake is, it, did it. it. You don't think that difference. Flake had a deal Legally, before he a, opened his mouth? Of course he did. There's a tremendous difference between a criminal investigation by the FBI and an investigation. A background a, investigation. A background investigation. Sure. And the procedure that's been basically set in stone is that the administration, in this case, directs the FBI as to the scope of the investigation. So they can say, listen, why don't you just talk to these four or five people yes. and see what the, you know, the, the corroboration, not corroboration. I just story. want to know and that's how many it. people And that's this probably table. what they've done here. Now, I, you've heard some public comments from Trump, oh, we, you know, we told them to, to do whatever they had to do and whatever the Senate so, wants so them to do. I just but like it's to know all directed by McGahn, who's the counsel for the president. Wait, how many people at this table and how many people who are under. listening to us have written the U.S. Senate and told them what they think? We have two senators. How many people have sent? They, they have forms online. Go to Toomey's okay, office. So, so that's There's not a, a question. Form. That's a statement. Well, you know what? That's Toomey can get a million letters. A He's million. Not not he's true. Not true. Okay. You'll not see. true. So wait a minute. Let, 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 let us be. He clear. never got a million letters. It gets, it gets <laughs> less true as it approaches his reelection. Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay. And he never got a million letters, so we don't know. Well, you say a lot of people are sending letters to him. More. Okay. I called him. I, I, I talked to his. Uh, I called the Allentown office because you can't get through to the Philadelphia mm -hmm. office. I just write. But I talked to his. Uh, uh, Administrative aid, assistant, right. whatever, and I told them, and I said, you know, That's I good. want That's you to thank. I want you to do. thank Senator Tom. He said, why? He said, because he's keeping me alive. Because I'm going to stay alive long enough to vote against good him in the you. next <laughs> election. Good for you. You know, we're, ta we're talking about a lot of uh, good for you speculation. 
right. a lot of maybes and what ifs and when I, you know, you have to look at the practical situation. The practical I mean, thing is we all raised our voices. They would behave better. To put somebody on the court that's going to follow their precepts and that's what mm. they're going to do. I mean, right. the Democrats are, are, are handcuffed here. If they want to go ahead and do it, they have 51 votes to do it and they'll do it. Yes, sir. Somehow they can come up with some miraculous thing that these two women, these two but older, I, I don't want to you know, say that so disparagingly, about, but, no, no, but two it's older fine. Republican women who have Republican supporters, and not just women, but Republican supporters, to convince them somehow, then maybe there's a no, slim I'll tell you what, if, 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 if the like three anybody. Republicans are going to vote to confirm them, you're not going to have 100% Democrats vote against no them. No way. You're, you're going, going to get Manchin and Donnelly right. and, uh, right. and the high, high camp. camp vote. They'll vote for him too. Right. Yeah, and I agree. And if, by the way, if their no vote isn't going to count, And by the vote, way, yes. in the total scheme of things. That's smart. The total yeah. scheme of things, that may turn out to be yeah, a blessing they in might, disguise. They might win the Senate. If yeah. they can win their seats, then they can turn the Senate. Right. And if you have the Senate and the Congress in opposition to Trump, then you'll really have them handcuffed. I, so well, that, that, if that happens... I keep saying it's got to do with the voters. Let me tell you, if that happens, then there's not going to be another... Even, God forbid, if, if right. Ginsburg dies, you're I'm not going to have another him. hard right Supreme to the, Court justice. To, to Vivian and Bebeck. So that's yes. the whole thing. That's why it's so after, consequential. After the Anita Hill, Hill hearing, right? Yes. They had the year of the women, and that's when... And a real women got out and voted, and, and they, they really and turned they things around. The feminism power. really came to floor. Now, it could happen this time, but how do you sustain that? See, that's there's the problem. There's a lot problem. of women. Well, you know, they elected women. They, 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 right, they, and there's a lot of young women whose whole so life what, is ahead of them. And they that's need, what you need. They need a society that will value their work and their contributions. And they're real clear but, about that. But, but I still think there's too much of the philosophy that the women's place is still It's be. not easy. Okay, I'm not saying it is. And that's We're a, the choir It's here, not by easy. The way. We're the choir. There's a whole other <laughs> yeah, world out yeah, there. Right. That, they agree with that's, you. That's they real. Agree. That you have but to it's fight happening. against every day. But it's happening. And there are women well, fighting we'll every day. You know what? We're... Today, as we sit here, which is it's October the 3rd today, mm -hmm. I know we'll no, be on TV not. a little later, but it's just about a month from this election. You guys are two weeks behind yourselves. And we have to come back after the election and see what, what happened during this election. Yes, yes. And then we can, make, we can make a more certain look at the future and try to guess Voter, what's going to happen based on that. Our first, our first program in this series, we broadcast before voter registration closed. Yes. And I said then, and I am planning to do, planned, and I did it. I was out on the street, and I'm not so healthy, folks, with my committee partner, because we were making sure people understood that they need to get registered, they so need what, to what vote, was, and they need and to And I give you tremendous out. credit Yeah, for I that, do that, too, that but I what was the response? Did you, feel, did, did you feel a surge, or did yes, you feel yes. they were people apathetic? Yes, yes, people said, I'm voting. Okay, well, that's the audience, listen to Babette. They yes. said, I'm voting get people, out and vote. especially the younger people, especially young women. They have career ap aspirations. aspirations. They have wealth aspirations. They do not, they were not educated. They did not fight their fight in high school and grammar school and kindergarten to be suppressed as adults. I have great faith in the young women. Well, I hope they all come out and they rebel against what's happening to Dr. Ford and we turn this around. And it doesn't well, my, have to my be lifetime, all. The There's so many of us, just a small number. I, in, in my lifetime, that bet. When I went to school, which was many years ago, I went to law school over 50 years ago, there was one woman in my law school class, one out of 150 There students. were like five, well, ten in my University class. University of Pennsylvania. What year? Year. You want, to, you want me to tell no, you? No, wait a minute. What are you making? I said it was over. Yeah, it. Now, you would, okay. Excuse but, me, John, you wouldn't say that to a woman. No. <laughs> <laughs> the point is today, if you go and look at the freshman class, University of Pennsylvania yep. Law School, and I don't know this for a fact, 
I'd be willing to bet right, right more there than there half. are more women. Yes. You're probably right. I, so I graduated that, from Rutgers, Camden. So when that happened, and that's and Cam, yeah, Rutgers and Villanova. The class and I have, I, I presently have a granddaughter at Drexel who's going to be a brilliant trial lawyer, mm -hmm. I think. She, if she keeps going in the direction that she's going, and she's a senior, so she's going to, Good she's for going you. to do great. And again, at Drexel, there are many, many, many women in that yep. law school class. So, what's, and I hate to say it just because I'm a lawyer, but that's really where it counts. More women that are going to be involved in the legal profession will be more women who will be judges. There will be more women who will be elected, well, elected. to the legislature. Because look at the Senate now. How many out of the 100 senators, I think 60, 50 or 60 of them are lawyers. So there are going to be lawyers, lawyers there. There are going to be lawyers how in the Congress. How many women are there and how many Republican women? And I think there are more women in the country than there are men. Of course. So when we sit here, and hopefully, five Democratic or six or ten years right. from now, yes. this Being will be elected. moved. I mean, this, this, this discussion will be moved because when, women When I be was in the legislature, there were it, it, women were very, very scarce. It's very scarce. But That's all of our experience. But it was very interesting in that I think the Democratic women had more control over the Democratic caucus than the Republicans what, were had there over many the Republican, Republican women. There were fewer. And uh, were, were they real conservative or were they, uh, they, they feminist? A span. Okay. A span. But most of the Democratic women were very, if they weren't left wing, they were certainly feminists. And they were certainly tired of being put down. All of us, all of us. Well, I think I think women. And, you know, when we talk about women, we can't just paint them all as leftists and exactly. feminists either. No, we're They're tired women of, of being all put stripes. down. And it's good. I mean, it, it's fine. And, there to, and there'll be a compromise but somewhere. Here's what I don't understand. Regardless, you could be a conservative woman. You could. Did, I can't con forget a man. I can't conceive of any woman justifying any type of sexual or any type of abuse toward another woman and when you look at the polls it's, and it's very hard I, to I, figure I just can't, what they're, can't understand they're thinking it, right. I, I just, think I think it's got to do with accepting your role as a victim because that's how you were raised probably and I think that's really hard to get away from and my family to be personal um, which is not really personal my mother was the feminist and my father was not well, I'm sure most of uh, uh, them, I don't think my was mother, not. my mother was stay home, cook and clean and. My know, mother did my, that too, but her thoughts, I, her thoughts were independent. Far as far as I remember, all my male uncles, my father, my grandfather. All your uncles were male. They, 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 That's the problem. Yeah, and don't they, over, no, don't no, over. no, they, they, right. They were all <coughs> controlling Very the women that, to keep the women in their place. I, I. My, my mother's, uh, he was a real quiet man, but he would, when they, they started talking, tell them to keep quiet, they all shut up. I don't think it's like that today. No, I no think it's probably that not changed. like that today. But more, more important than all of this is what we discussed at the at last show and last week, is the religious component. Yep. Yes. Because a lot of the women, you know, the, the religious component is the most important thing. And, but of course, and that's if you what really them. look at the Bible, if you really look at what is said about women and women's, it, Women play a very, very important oh, role in but the, the whole. The whole, but it's, the, it's, it's one of the big arguments in the Catholic Church was the role that. of women, and they had to change some of, some of the, uh, the the books of the Bible because yes. they didn't want to expand, and they wanted the male, male to control the church, yes. so they, they couldn't share the role. The place, place right. That's so. But the if church. you if you read the original. Which is not perfect. I mean, there's a lot of multiple marriages. Well, well you can get and, stoned for red. Uh, and you know, harems kind of and yeah, all right. of that. Right. Now you're talking but, about what you did in college? Right. <laughs> right. Got and stoned. Controlling got sexual stoned. Well, uh, but I could never <laughs> be on the Supreme Court because uh, Judge Ginsburg got thrown off for smoking pot. <laughs> right, but I, right. they yeah. called it the high court. <laughs> and he, he <laughs> went through, right? Watch what you you say have to make a joke. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, we can call it if, if uh, Kavanaugh gets confirmed. We can call it the Miller High Life Court. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's exactly it's right. True. I love well, beer. He gets. I like beer. I love beer. I love beer. I said if Give I still I break. still have I still <laughs> see everybody says I'm a pessimist, but I still have hope in Jeff Lake. I still, for some reason, I have a, I just have that feeling. I hope I'm right here. Well, they probably. Howard. I don't have. Jeff, I don't have uh, hope. I Jeff wonder if they treated senators. him bad, really badly. That in the educated, I'm sorry, Bobby. No. Uh, the, I have faith in an educated public who understands and reads and studies 
uh, the situation as it is, and 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 it and they vote intelligently, and it and this all this situation encourages them to vote. And I'm encouraging you. We're all encouraging you. Get your butts out there, <laughs> November sixth. Vote and take back your government. Amen. I, and I, of I, course, I, you're asking for a, a lot by asking for an intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Well, we just wanted well, I can't to vote. That up or, uh, I, I, I want to share something just no, as but, an aside. Uh, well, let's see what happens, and when we come back again, when Vivian speaks, we'll she does not have any voice. No, she can't gentlemen. yell over us. Go no, ahead. that's okay. I, as an aside, last night I learned something that I, it just kind of went under the radar, and that is the you know, Mark, earlier your phone, the emergency alerts that you get. Yeah. There is now a system in place. The, the that, they can be, that Trump can do emergency alerts just like we get those yeah, to tell us that there's a flood or there's a child missing or there's whatever. He's going to have that power. Isn't that scary? Isn't yes. it scary to think? Because yes. he's perfectly capable of using that power yes. to do something very untoward. But you know what I think also? He, there will the be pushback. On TV. He gets on TV there will something. be pushback. People won't like it on their phones. It's their phone. I, I, well, I follow him on Twitter. I comment on all his tweets. Yeah. I follow him on Twitter. Yeah, but you're, it's your volition. Yeah. You're, it's not coming to you. But this emergency thing is going to be coming on your phone. A message like I the know. idiot the idiot messages that he tweets out, he now has the ability to tweet them out to all of our cell phones. That's okay. scary to me. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't like think people it. will stand for that if he does that. It's supposed, <laughs> it's supposed to be an That's emergency alert saying. system. That's uh, what I'm saying. He uses yeah, an emergency alert system to uh, blurt out his idiot tweets. I mean, yeah. how can we block that? No, I don't think that'll happen. I, I certainly hope From not. From your mouth to God's ears? I certainly hope not. <laughs> I, I hope in a couple of years he's not around anymore. Well, it goes back to what, government. when you talk about the imperial presidency, because of the nature of terrorism, threat of nuclear war, they give the president power yes. to do things instantaneously rather than have the deliberation that the, con the, the founding fathers wanted, and that's that's part of the problem. That's, that's, the that's, that's also that. also part of a solution because we do need somebody who can respond quickly. Yeah, but I, I said it on the, the uh, uh, when I did the thing on the imperial, the imperial presidency. presidency. There hasn't been a, a, a legally declared war since 1941. That's true. How yes. many wars have we been in? And how One many, every, how many young men and women lost their lives, yes. and it's Congress, who was supposed to do it, didn't declare war. So well, that's part of the problem when we're talking about the next presidential election. Who's sure. our well, candidate? Well, part of the but problem is the balance. Who's how do you, our, how do you okay, judge who's a threat? Our let, let, us just, let us just end on this note, and that is that we're all clear that it is a citizen's responsibility. It's, it's the citizenry that has to step up. A candidate and take who's going to be him break. is out there listening right now. Okay, and I, I hope so, because what we are I'm clear sure about that. is that when we talk about the role of women and how women have been compromised, how they have been actually made less Absolutely. as a result of the Trump presidency, we also know to Irv's point, to Mark's point, to John's point, if you don't vote, what do you expect? And that's what we have to leave it on. Guess what? Everything that is wrong with how women are being treated, I want everybody that is watching us on election day, every time there's an election, you need to get on the phone and you need to call every person that you know that has problems with mobility because it's your job to get them to the polls. That's the only thing we can do. We've got to make sure that we get all of those people that we know in our environment who are reluctant to go to the polls, we need to or make have real point. barriers. It's not easy. But let, let us make a phone call to them. You need my help to take you to the polls. We need to do that. You want to do an absentee ballot? I've got an application. Okay, so whatever it takes, that's what we have to do. This has been Conversations Across Time. Thank you so much. And uh, we do hope that we have at least given you some food for thought. We're not trying to tell you what to think. We just want to make sure you are thinking. Good night. Conversations across time, conversations across cross time, conversations across time, conversations across time, conversations across time, conversations across cross time, conversations across time, conversations across cross time, conversations across time. 
conversations are gone, gone, gone. Conversations are gone, gone.